Hey, what's up guys? Broken FPS here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up derby skins. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so um, getting into this, what you're going to need to have to do is go to the Realistic Derby Project. Go to Membership um, once you're on their page, and go ahead and connect your Discord. And um, you have to be... Um, you have to be a subscription onto the RPD or RDP Discord to be able to get the files needed for this. But we're going to go ahead and open the server. And I'll just give you a quick little tour in their server. And I'll uh, take you down to skin templates. And here's the download file. I already have it downloaded. We're going to go ahead and close out of this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go into um my beam folder and we're going to start getting ready to set everything up so what i'm going to do here is um i'm going to go to beam ng and i'm going to go ahead and go into latest and i'm going to go into mods and this is the first step here you're going to go ahead and name a folder unpacked and go ahead and put her in there and then we're going to go into there and you can see big caddies here and that's the skin that you saw and i'm going to be teaching you how to set this up all right so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do one completely completely brand spanking new and um, i'm going to go ahead and show you the directory for both and um, how to get everything set up correctly the first time so you're not making any mistakes and um, I'm going to do just a simple design for the mic vehicle, but you can go as crazy as you want with it. So for the name of this, I'm going to just do Tut. So for the tutorial here, and I'm just going to follow along with this folder because I still don't have the uh, file directory memorized. So now I'm going to do vehicles. So. In this folder, I'm going to go ahead and make another folder, Vehicles. And, um, I believe it's Caddy after that. Yeah, so Caddy, and then you got to do the name again, and then the files. So, um, what I'm going to do here is we're going to go into that there. We're going to go to vehicles and I'm going to do the caddy. It's one of the only vehicles I've actually uh, messed with for uh, making skins for. So it's um, it's just fun for me. I, I really like the caddy. Um, and um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and name it caddy. And then we're going to go ahead and make another uh, folder. And that's going to be Tut. And we're going to go ahead and open that folder up. And then I'm going to go over here. And this is just the files that you get off the RPD uh, Discord. I'm going to go ahead and copy these guys. And we're going to go ahead and paste them in there. And um, you're going to have these files here set up to open in Notepad++. I forgot to mention you're going to need Notepad++ and Paint.net for this tutorial. Um... Now, I will put them in the description so you can do that. Um, go download those files. But um, we're going to go ahead and go into the skin material first, just because it has a little bit more to look at. And at the top here, so where it says skin name, we're going to go ahead and highlight that. And you're going to go to search and then replace. And you're going to replace it with your skin name. So down here, I'm just going to name it tut because that's what we change it to and we're going to go ahead and hit replace all and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click off of that and before you leave make sure you come down here to the uh, base color map and right here is where people mess up and they forget to change this and you're just going to name that tut and then the image we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here so with that all done, we're going to go ahead and save all that. And now you're done with that one. Now we're going to go into the skins file. So the skin name information, we're going to go 
right here and this is what's going to show up on beam so we're just going to name it tutorial and the skin caddy and then skin name so everything else is uh i can't remember yeah this one has to be changed too so we're going to go ahead and go into search and then we're going to go to replace once again and we're going to replace it with tut replace all and we're going to go ahead and close out of that and save that so after that is all done we can get ready to open the files here so the only one we have is the caddy ub uh, rework and we're actually going to change this to a um dds file through paint but i will show you how to do that over there and we will get this done relatively quick um but i'm going to go ahead and pause the video real fast until i have everything pulled up and then i'll explain everything to you all Alrighty, so um, when you get into paint.net, um, you're going to go to open. It's up here in the top left, and you're going to go ahead and open that. And um, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to go to beam, latest, and then we're going to go to mods, unpacked. We're going to go to tut. We're going to go to vehicles, caddy, tut, and the caddy UV rework. So once you pull that up for the background, you're going to see this here. And from here, I'm going to uh, go ahead and add the roof sign as well. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to go back into the skin, skin templates. And I'm going to go ahead and um, grab the roof sign. And I'm going to be using the team sign here. Just going to copy that. And then in my files, I'm going to go ahead and pull that the beam folder up one more time here we're going to go ahead and put it into the um where all the other files are so tot caddy and we're going to go ahead and paste it there so now that that's in there we can go back over to paint and then we can go to open and then we can go ahead and add the roof sign so whenever you have this one highlighted you can go ahead and hit Control a Control C, and then you can move over, and then you're going to want to make a new layer. And I recommend naming this um, roof sign. Just so you know um, what part is for the roof sign. Keep your layers organized, it'll help you out a lot. Um, with that there, we're going to go ahead and hit Control V and it will add it to this section here so when we click on background what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the uh, magic wand tool we're going to set up a little bit of a clipping mask so we can only see um, what's going to be on the car and um, i'm going to do like i'm going to try to um, make this work the first time without having all the lines all over it how the vehicle did in the the uh, beginning of the video um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the magic wand tool and um, we're going to hit shift and then we're going to select back here and that selects the vehicle and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I'm going to fill it with black and then we're going to go ahead and fill that so I messed something up let's go ahead and step back just so I can fix my mistake so like I said I'm not the best with uh, the paint on that side of things we're gonna go back to that and then we're gonna go here we're gonna hold shift we're gonna click it should highlight the vehicle highlight everything and then what we're going to do is go to the paint bucket and we're going to go to black and I'm going to go ahead and fill that. So now you can see these guys up here, those two squares, and then you can see um, the vehicle down here. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and create uh, two more layers. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go ahead and hit control C 
and then on con uh, layer four, I'm going to hit control V. And what that's going to do is go ahead and put a layer mask in between the two. And we can go ahead and now and click off of the layers and you can see what's going on now, but we're going to go into layer three and that's where we're going to do all of our editing. And there we there we go. We have um, some of the car painted here, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back to open, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my downloads. And I did make a couple things that I wanted to put on my vehicle, so we're gonna go ahead and get that stuff pulled up here. And um, here's the broken FPS logo. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and bring it over. And we are going to create a new layer here. So on this layer, I can go ahead and hit control V and I pop in that there and then I can rotate that guy um, just like so. And if you hold shift, you can shrink it down without it um, messing up. And then we're going to go ahead and toss it about there. Make it a little bit bigger here. I have to remember half of my trunk is... Um, Half of my trunk is folded in on this particular car that I'm working with, so I want to keep it up enough to where it doesn't get ripped off. So um, from there, that's all done. Um, I don't want the lines to show, so I will show you how to fix that here soon. But um, that's that, and let's go ahead and get the numbers in. Um, and I'm going to hit escape to go off that layer. That's the number down. And if you want to make this selection to pull some stuff, I can show you how to do that. But I remember um, what I did wrong. So this layer here, that takes away the lines. And I'll show you um, when we get into that. And um, for the roof signs, now I will show you in some, the roof signs real fast. We're going to go ahead and go here and we're going to go above the roof sign. So we're going to go ahead and make two layers. We're going to go on to layer 10 here. We're on the selection here and we're going to go ahead and uh, I already made a bad selection. So I'm going to go ahead and redo that and zoom in a little bit here just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the actual box here, but that's okay. To do that, it's not going to affect how the uh, sign looks, and I keep unclicking, so it's like, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and go to the fill tool, and we're going to go to the color gray, and I'm going to go ahead and fill that selection. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to file, 
and then we're going to go to save as and from there what you're going to do is name this the name of your skin so we're going to do dot dot dds and then the paint file we're going to go to dds so um it, it's going to save it as a dds either way we're going to go ahead and hit save and then you want your color range set up um, as BC7 RGB DX11. So that just gives you the best color range for your selection. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. And then you can go ahead and flatten it. So once that's done, guys, it is um, basically you're all set to load beam but we're going to go ahead and show you one more time how it is set up in the folders so under mods um under um unpacked under tut vehicles caddy tut and there it is now what you can do is come right here and you can delete the roof sign and you can delete the rework out of there and you would only need the three files in there and then we're going to go ahead and loan beam and show you how to set up the skin alrighty guys so if you've been watching this far I do appreciate it we're going to go ahead and go into vehicles and we're going to go into Cadillac and we're going to go ahead and select our custom car and um, we're going to go ahead and get that loaded in once I get that loaded in, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the menu and we're going to go to vehicle config and then we're going to go ahead and type skin and it should pull up the paint design, which it does. And we're going to go ahead and click there and select tutorial. And we got it to load first try. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you've made it this far again, please leave a like and Go ahead and give us a sub to the channel if you think we deserve it. Um, we're definitely working hard to try to put out some more content for y'all. And I hope you can stick around and see what's upcoming. Thank you so much for watching again. And I shall see you in the next one.